Question 10. Now, notice the star next to this. We're going to have to definitely show and prove our working out, giving good mathematical reasons. Uh, we've got a diagram. C, D, E, F is a straight line. A, B is parallel to C, F. And D, E is equal to A, E. Work out the size of the angle marked X. You must give reasons for your answer. So we're going to use a combination of rules to do with shapes and lines to try and find this missing angle. First thing you should notice is because we have parallel lines, we have this thing that used to be called a Z angle, because that means we can work out, if we know this one, we can work out this angle that's on the alternate side. It's on the opposite side of this transversal because it's between two parallel lines. So if this angle BAE is 38, then AED is also 38 degrees. But we're asked as part of the question to give reasons for our answers. So we have to describe what we've done to make sure that we're getting the marks. So we're going to say here that angle BAE, using a little cap to show that's an angle, is equal to AED. Again, the angle over E, because using the correct mathematical terminology here, they are alternate angles. So not only have we shown the value, we've given the correct word to justify our answers, and that will guarantee us the marks that the examiners are looking for. Now, that was just one angle that we could calculate straight away. To find x, we need to know what this angle here is, angle ADE. But the other piece of information we're given shows that we've got what's called an isosceles triangle. Both sides of this triangle are the same length. That also tells us then that the angle DAE is the same as ADE. So I'm going to make a little note of that one. So we're going to say, ooh, I've lost a letter. Uh, so we have angle ADE is equal to angle DAE because. The triangle ADE is isosceles. So the base angles, so these are the angles at the bottom of the equal length lines. So the base angles are equal. So that's just the second fact that we're pointing out. We also know that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So to find out what this missing angle here is, let's see if we've got enough space, plenty of it. So we have angles in a triangle are equal to 180 degrees. So to find our missing angle, which the one we're trying to find was, let's have a look, was it ADE? Yep, we're trying to find this bottom one, so ADE, so angle ADE is going to be equal to 180 degrees, subtract the 38 that we know, which is equal to 142 degrees. And then we're going to divide this by 2, because both angles are equal. We know that if we half the remaining angle, that will give us our missing value. So half of 142 is 71. So we found the angle next to x. This angle here is 71 degrees, as is this one up here. 
Our final mark will be to calculate what angle X is. And this lies on a straight line. So to find angle X, so X is called a supplementary angle. It supplements this angle here to make 180. So X supplementary to A, D, E. So it adds to give us 180 degrees. You could also just put the angles on a straight line, add up to 180 degrees. That would probably also be good enough. So to find out what our missing angle is, we have 180, subtract 71 degrees, and we're left with 109 degrees as our final answer. Each step has been justified with the correct mathematical notation, therefore we can pretty much guarantee that we've got all four marks.